Podiatrists provide surgical and medical care for people with foot, ankle, and lower leg issues. In this video, we're gonna go over what podiatrists do, the job market for podiatrists, how much podiatrists make, and the top five highest paying metro areas for podiatrists. Coming up. Hey everybody, my name is Stephen Hack, and this is Career Watch a YouTube channel bringing you the latest, most up-to-date information on different careers. Subscribe to this channel for weekly videos on job statistics, salary statistics, and other general career information. Podiatrists diagnose illnesses, treat injuries, and perform surgery involving the lower extremities. They treat a variety of foot and ankle ailments, including calluses, ingrown toenails, heel spurs, arthritis, congenital foot and ankle deformations, and arch problems. They also treat foot and leg problems associated with diabetes and other diseases. Some podiatrists spend most of their time performing surgery, such as foot and ankle reconstruction. Others may choose a specialty such as sports medicine, pediatrics, or diabetic foot care. To become a podiatrist, you basically have to do three things. Step one is go to one of the nine medical schools that focuses on podiatry and graduate. Step two is complete a three-year residency program after medical school. Step three is become licensed by passing an exam. Next, let's take a look at where podiatrists work. The vast majority or 73% of podiatrists work in healthcare offices. That's almost three out of every four podiatrists. About 9% of podiatrists work for the federal government, 9% are self-employed, and only 6% of podiatrists work in hospitals. Podiatry is a relatively small field. There's only about 10,000 jobs nationwide. The job growth over the past 20 years has been relatively small. In the year 2000, there were 7,870 podiatry jobs. 19 years later, in 2018, there were 9,500 podiatry jobs. So there was a gain of 1,630 podiatry jobs over a 19-year time period. But this slow growth might not be a concern because there are only nine colleges churning out podiatrists. The government is also a little optimistic about the future job growth of podiatry. The government is estimating a 6% growth in jobs for podiatrists from 2018 to 2028. This isn't super high, but is higher than the average across occupations, which is 5%. The number of opportunities for podiatrists over the next 10 years might increase for the following reasons. America's aging population will grow. Many people that get older often have foot-related issues. Also, diabetes is a very common disease among Americans. It can affect extremities like foot and hands. Next, let's take a look at what kind of money podiatrists earn. In the year 1999, the average podiatrist was making on average $100,090. By the year 2018, this average wage had risen to $148,220 on average. So wages rose for podiatrists by $48,130 over a period of 20 years, or about $2,480 Per year. Finally, let's take a look at the highest paying metro areas for podiatrists. The average wage for podiatrists is about $148,000, but certain areas of the country pay much more than this. The fifth highest paying metro area for podiatrists is the Minneapolis metro area, where the average wage is $196,650, or $48,430 over the national average. The fourth highest paying metro area for podiatrists is Providence, Rhode Island where the average wage is $207,520, which is $59,300 over the national average. The third highest paying metro area for podiatrists is Indianapolis, where the average wage is $212,500, which is $64,280 over the national average. The second highest paying metro area for podiatrists is Milwaukee, where the average wage is $229,510, which is a staggering $81,290 over the national average. And finally, the best paying metro area for podiatrists is Charlotte, North Carolina, where the average wage is $256,950. This is an astounding $108,730 over the national average. Those are the top five highest paying metro areas for podiatrists. Are you interested in becoming a podiatrist? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.